Miss Gilman. I'm the media specialist here, and today I'm going to take you a tour of our media center. So come on in. Okay, so as you walk into the media center, you have our, your circulation desk over here on the left. And this is where you will sign in to the computer um, and present your pass to the media specialist or the media clerk um, to be able to enter the media center. So you can come into the media center to work on things, um, to check out a book. Um, so this is where you sign in. And then over here we have Mr. Monette. There he is. He is our TST. He's in charge of all of our hardware. And then this is someone over here who you'll get to know very well. This is Miss Goss. She's our media clerk. Hey guys. Miss you. Can't wait to see you all. So she, this is her desk, and she is here to help you as well. So um, at, across from the circulation desk, I'm going to walk over here, we have our test prep books. So when you get to the point where you're going to take the ACT, the SAT, or maybe some AP courses, we have all of those over here that you can check out. And then we have our Read Woke display. And so we do have a Read Woke challenge going on this semester. So if you read four Read Woke books, you can get this awesome free t-shirt. Um, so we'll always have our books pulled over here um, across from the circulation desk. And so a Read Woke book, it provides information about a group that has been disenfranchised, seeks to challenge the status quo, provides information about other cultures or groups, challenges a social norm, contains a protagonist from, from an underrepresented group, gives voice to the voiceless. Um, books like Dear Martin. So these are real popular books. Okay, so walking into our media center, we also have a book display here. We have our bookmobile that you'll see rolling around the hallways, come into your classrooms to check out books. Um, we have some project tables you can sit at, and then we have our computers over here. And then around our computer section are our nonfiction books, and those are organized by subject area. And so above them, it tells you where what is above each book, what, where each book is located. So our nonfiction section. And then over here, next to our nonfiction section, we also have biographies, which is a form of nonfiction. So those are going to be the books with the blue labels. And then we have our books in other languages over here that you can check out, as well as our audio books um, that are uh, books on CDs. Okay, coming back to our middle section, we have our fiction books. Now, our fiction books are organized by genre. So you see signs on tops of the shelves that tell you what the genre is. Sci-fi, fantasy, realistic fiction, humor, romance, historical fiction, graphic novels. And then within that section, you see color-coded. Um, they're all color-coded, and then they're organized um, alphabetically. Additionally, on the spines of the books, we have them labeled. I don't know if you guys can see this by Lexile level. So it tells you how hard the book is. Um, so you can look at that as well. So our, our fiction books, alphabetical um, by genre. And then coming back to the back of our media center, we have these high top tables you can come in and sit at and do your work. And then we have our kiosk right here where you can come and look up books um, to find them in the library. Okay, now coming back to the middle and then turning to the right, we have three different collaboration stations is what we call them, where you can come and connect your computer up to the TVs and work on group projects. So there's one here, and then there's two more over here up against the wall. Additionally, we have this study room here that you can um, ask the CERC desk if you, if you can use, um, where you have a computer and you can do different activities in here with your group. And then here you've got some magazines. Um, we have magazines available for checkout. We have a little chess table um, that you can check out chess pieces at the CERC desk um, if you'd like to do that. Then walking over here, we have our collaboration corner. And so we have this awesome touch screen that if you're ever doing presentations, you're welcome to use. We will always have our catalog pulled up on it um, where you can actually touch it, search for a book that you want and then go find the book in the media center. So it tells you what's new, what's popular, um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the catalog in just a minute. And then this is our CoLab corner. You'll probably be coming in here for classes, um, so different areas where you can sit and collaborate with your peers. So this is what the space looks like. Um, now I'm going to show you how to use the different software of the media center to find books, to get to eBooks, that sort of thing. So first I want to show you our Media Center website. So from the school website, you just go to directory and then click on Media Center. And I've got lots of good things for you, um, on this site for you. So the first part of the site, you can see 
another virtual tour of the media center, what it looks like when um, there's actually students in it. Unfortunately, we don't have you guys here right now, but this is what a normal day in the media center looks like. Um, and then our hours and contact information, we're open from 6.45 to 2.30. There's our phone number um, and my email. Some frequently asked questions. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about library science. Um, it's a course that we teach in here. It's an elective course where you run the circulation desk, you shelve books. So that is a course that you can apply for throughout high school. If it's something that you're interested in, just come see us. Um, and then there's my information and Ms. Goss's information. And then another fun little slideshow you can look through. Um, over here, I'm just going to go down these tabs on the left. The online research library is a great place to find good resources that are credible. Um, the way that you get to it is you click right here on online research library while you're in e-class, like where you go to check your grades under apps. And then that will take you to all of our databases um, where you can uh, go in and it'll give you the source information. Um, we've got over 60 databases that you can look through. Um, and then I also wanted to just point out right here, this is how you get to our media catalog and that is how you search for books and how you put books on hold. So once you click on that um, and log in, then you can select the books that you want, put them on hold, and then we're gonna be doing a curbside pickup on Fridays um, this semester um, for any holds that you'd like to um, have while you're at home. And then once we are back in school, you could still do the holds here and we'll deliver them to your classroom. Um, but the media catalog has a lot of really cool features that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. Um, under research resources, um, there's some free citation generators. Whenever you get to research, um, you've got some options on how to create um, different citations, different works cited pages, um, an example paper in MLA format, how to do MLA format, this new site, mybib.com. Um, some of you guys are, all are already familiar with EasyBib, but mybib is a great one um, that one of our teachers here found, Dr. Cruz, and it does um, awesome um, with finding, with uh, citing your sources correctly in APA and in MLA. So that one is my current favorite one, and I'll have a separate tutorial for that. Um, how to tell if you're plagiarizing, APA resources, more information on the databases. So um, research resources, tutorials, handouts there. And then under reading resources, we have um, lots of book recommendations in here. Um, if you click on that, um, it'll have our current Georgia Peach Book Award book nominees that you can check out. And if you are an avid reader, come ask us about Reader's Rally. It's a club where we read these books and then we compete against other schools on these books. Um, so we'd love to have you join our club. We also have all of these brochures um, of helping you find a certain book in a certain genre. And we have these physical um, copies of these in the Media Center. And then we do have a lot of options for ebooks. Um, a lot of them will be through the Gwinnett County Public Library, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. And then um, requesting a book, I have a Google form here. If there's ever a book you want me to order, um, I'd love to order it for you. So you can fill that form out or just come talk to me or email me directly. And then here's more information about our Reader's Rally Book Club, if that's something that sounds like you're, you'd be interested in. Um, so that's just the basics of our Media Center website. Again, you get there by going to Directory and then Media Center. The next thing I want to show you is how to get, um, how to look for books in our media catalog. So on the desktop of all of our computers, um, you have an icon that says Media Catalog, but obviously you're not at school right now, so you'll go through eClass, um, that link I showed you underneath um, where you would check your grades under apps. It says Media Catalog. So when you're in the media catalog, you'll log in if it doesn't automatically log you in. And then it's it's just such a cool tool because you can search for books based on um, the topic. Uh, you can make a list of books that you want to read. And like I said earlier, you can put books on hold and we'll pull them for you and then let you know when they're available for pickup. So the first um, part of this catalog, it, it will show you the books that we've recently added and then our popular titles. And it tells you up here if it's in or if it's out. And then if you just want to search by topic here, you can search by topic. There's some of our eBooks that you can read directly from your computer. And we also have some audio books that you can listen to from your computer and an interactive eBook there. So let's say you're looking for a certain book um, or maybe you just want a book of, like about football. So you type in football and then you're gonna have a lot of options come up and it's gonna tell you right here if it's a book or in this case, this is a video. So that wouldn't be available, that's for teachers. 
here you have a physical book. And so now this is how you tell where the book is located. You go to the FIC, which stands for fiction section, and then um, to that, the last name of the author there. Um, and you would go to the sports section there. So this is how you tell which genre it's located if it's a fiction book. Because remember, I showed you our fiction books are organized by genre. So you'd go to the sports section and then go alphabetically and find that book there. If it's checked out, there would be a hold button here. I'm not logged in right now, but you could just put it on hold. Um, video, video, I wanna show you another example. Let's say you want this book right here and it gives you the call number. Call number 796.332. So we know it's not a fiction book because it doesn't say FIC. Instead, it gives you a number. So that would be nonfiction. And our nonfiction books are located, um, like I showed you, wrapped around the computers, the computer area, and they're organized by what's called the Dewey Decimal System um, by the number. So you'd go to the 700 section, or you could just come ask us for help and we'll come help you find it. Um, and then it might say ebook here, so you won't physically be able to find the book, but you could check it out directly from the catalog when you're logged in. Um, another thing I love about the catalog is when you click on the book, it gives you read-alikes, um, books that are similar to that. So if you don't know what to read, but you really loved um, a certain book, you could type in the book and then see what books are like it. Um, you could also leave a review for the book. Um, and that's part of our Read Woke uh, program. Once you read a Read Woke book, you go in and write a review. And once you've done four, you get your free t-shirt. Um, so you could write a review in there. And then down here, it'll tell you the Lexile level. So it tells you how hard the book is, reading level, um, what grade level it's on, if that's something you're interested in. Um, and then you, obviously you have your description here. So I would say pick a book that just sounds interesting to you, um, maybe something that you would enjoy reading. Um, if you ever need book suggestions, you can email me directly or your teacher is going to be posting a Google form um, that you can fill out based on your interest. And then I can recommend books for you to come pick up for your holds. Okay, so this is um, just a brief overview of our media catalog. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about our Branch Out program. So we have a partnership with the Gwinnett County Public Library where you can actually check out books from them and you, don't, um, you won't receive any fines from them, which is kind of cool. And currently our Gwinnett County Public Library is doing curbside pickup. And so you can actually reserve your books with them and then pick it up from any Gwinnett County Public Library. So let me just Google Gwinnett County Public Library. And then you can actually log in to your Gwinnett County Public Library um, uh, account here. And if you have, um, students are automatically opted into this account. Um, so unless you told us you didn't want it, you automatically have an account. And so your username is your student number and your password is your birthday. So it's your the month of your birthday and then the day of your birthday. So for example, my birthday is December 11th, so I would say 1211 is my password. Um, they also have a chat feature on the bottom. So if you something's not working on your account, you can chat directly with a, a, a librarian there. Um, but they have awesome digital resources for you. Um, so some of the my favorite ones, um, let me just scroll down and look through um, some of these. Obviously, we have our our encyclopedias, but you have those through our Gwinnett County um, Library. But tutor.com is on here. Um, so you guys are probably hearing, oh, see, look, they want to chat with me right now. I'm going to say no thanks. So um, you guys are probably hearing a lot about tutor.com, but you can, that's how you would get to tutor.com is through this website. lynda.com is awesome for learning how, learning different skills. So you might use that in your business classes. Learning a new language, Mango is amazing for learning a new language, maybe in um, some of your world languages classes. Um, and then obviously they have eBooks, Overdrive. They also have an app called Libby for your eBooks. So you can log into that as well um, and read books from your phone. So lots of different resources here. There's tutor.com, um, and that's a limited time subscription, um, but awesome ways to get free tutoring there. So this is our um, partnership with Gwinnett County Public Library. It's called Branch Out. And like I said, um, all of you are probably gonna be opted into it. So you log in with your um, student number, and then your password is your birthday. And then you can come down here and chat with a librarian there live if you ever have any issues um, with any of those resources, or you can just reach out to me directly as well. Um, so that is our branch out program. Um, so that's just an overview of some of our resources, our media center website, how to search for a book, 
Um, I really hope you guys will take advantage of our um, our library pickup, a curbside pickup program. Um, so um, from Friday from 8 to 4, you'll be able to pick up any books that you put on hold in Destiny. Um, and your teacher's going to be um, posting that link up. So then we'll contact you when your holds are ready. Um, but you're going to have up to five books checked out during this time, um, during uh, during this time that we're quarantined or, or if you're just doing digital classes at home. Um, so I hope that you'll utilize um, this awesome tool for finding books that you like um, in our Gwinnett County Public Library partnership. Um, again, please email me um, if you have any questions or the phone numbers listed on the website, you can call us directly. Um, and let us know how we can help you. We look, are looking forward to meeting you in person, hopefully sometime soon, and seeing you in the library. Thank you.